There's a secretive, underground force that the nation's leading closers, info marketers, and speakers turn to when they need to close. Known to some as the Speaker's Dream Team, this trio is transforming the way business is conducted from stage and via webinars. If you desire to increase sales, change lives, and spread your message, then you need MVP and Associates. Dustin Matthews, known for creating marketplace frenzies that drive people to buy products and services in mass. Dustin publishes the most widely read offline newsletter for speakers and promoters, Dirty Talk, and marketed over 200 events, seminars, and boot camps per month, generating over $12 million in the course of a year. Taking his strategies to the web, he ran 10 product launches responsible for over $5 million in sales. AJ Poyton has been in the seminar business for over 20 years. Hailed as the superhero superhero, he has trained hundreds of people internationally to have prosperous careers as seminar speakers, trainers, and success coaches. He is one of the leading experts on creating personal change and understanding the seminar industry. AJ has created his niche in becoming the backbone of many seminar projects and ideas that are responsible for influencing the globe. With over 2,000 presentations under his belt, Dave Van Hoos is considered the top closer in the country. From a credit card and a vision, Dave took the seminar company to number 35 on the Inc. 500 with over $14 million in sales. Known for his unique ability to take anyone's product and be able to sell it from the platform with less than 24 hours notice, he's one of the handful of people that have been able to replicate themselves by training a team of speakers to get the same result. Now, for the very first time, Dave is revealing his strategies for closing. And now, welcome to the stage, MVP and Associates, Mr. Dave Van Hoos. All right. Woo. Wow. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? Awesome. Well, I'm excited and honored to be here. And what I'm about to do here in a moment is something I have never done before. And they wanted me to come here and teach, which is really outside my core strength, because all I want to do is sell. And I'm going to tell you a quickly uh, a story about me and how I got into seminar business and how I took my company uh, on my, from my credit card to Inc. 500 as the 35th fastest growing private company in the United States. How at one time I did 100 seminars per month with my business, 100 seminars per month, and how I was able to do 2,600 presentations from stage. So I'm going to give you guys a lot of great information. I'm going to pack a three-day boot camp into 90 minutes or actually one hour so that you guys can take as much information as possible. What I'm also going to do is something I've never done before. I usually have a PowerPoint up here. I'm actually going to use a board and draw you out some amazing techniques and strategies you can use for your business. I'm going to share with you three strategies today that you will be able to leave here today that will guarantee you to double your profits in the next 30 days. Guaranteed. Just by a show of hands, how many of you want me to show you how to make more money? Seriously. Yeah. If your hand isn't up right now, you can go ahead and leave. Because what I'm about to share with you in the next 90 minutes, or 60 seconds, not 60 seconds, one hour, is what I have learned through my experience. What I'm going to share with you is something I've read in the book, something I've been experiencing for a decade. I've been in this seminar business for a decade, and I'm going to share with you some amazing strategies. Now, how many of you want me to show you a strategy right now to put more money in your pocket? Who wants me to show you that? Seriously, who wants me to show you how to make more money? Okay, for those of you that are serious, stand up and I'll show you right now. What I'm going to share with you, one strategy right now is to put more money in your pocket. Are you ready? Put your hands out like this. I'm going to share with you how to make more money right now. I want you to turn to the right, the other right, for those of you who got it wrong. <laughs> I want you to take your right hand. I'm going to share with you a strategy right now to put more money in your pocket. Reach your hand out and grab the wallet and the guys in front of you put it in your pocket. 
You guys can sit down. Is it okay if we have fun and learn some great stuff? Is that all right with you? Now, what I want to share with you is a strategy that I just used on you. Because as a speaker, what you have to do up here on stage, when you're up here, is you got to get inside people's psychology. you got to get inside their mind. you got to start getting inside their emotions. Because write this down. All buying decisions are based on emotion backed by logic. So we have to get inside of them emotionally. And the best way to do that, to get inside them emotionally, is control them physically. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. To control them physically, right? Now, what did I just do to you guys? I had you guys stand up, right? And now I started controlling you, your physiology, right? So if you control their physiology, you control them emotionally. Not only that, we'll do a pattern rub so you can instantaneously take control of the audience. That's the first sale of the presentation, is you have to take control. Now, I want you to understand this. Scientists have been proven this. Your first impression is so important, very important, that within the six seconds, people have decided if they're going to buy from you or not. They've already decided if they like you, and they're going to buy from you within six to seven seconds. So the worst thing you can do is when you get up on the platform, is come up here and say, Oh, yeah, turn your cell phones off. The bathrooms are over there. Take a pen and paper out. You just cost yourself the sale. So what I want you to do is when you first get up on stage is take an instant control of the audience. Because write this down. Small commitments equal big commitment. And that's what we do as a hypnotist. We actually take small commitments to get a big commitment. And that's the first thing you need to do in your presentation is do that pattern interrupt so you can take control of the audience. I also want to share with you another strategy that what I just did on you is usually when you do these events, you'll have the authority figure introduce you from stage. Now, I want you to understand this. The authority figure, okay, is the person why everybody is here. So if you come to an event, everybody's there because of the authority figure, right? They respect them. They trust them. That's their leader. And so when that leader introduces you up on stage, Okay, and endorses you and then transfers the power to you. But what will happen, right, is that they're not usually trained or they're usually rushing and they don't usually do a pretty good job of introducing you, right? How many of you guys have been there before? Well, I realized that and didn't want to leave that out on somebody else. I wanted to control my environment. So I had a great opportunity last year to speak at the SANG conference. How many of you have heard of the SANG conference? Pretty awesome place to speak at. All the biggest speakers and authors, millionaires and billionaires are there. Amazing people are there. And I had an opportunity to speak for almost an hour and teach people how to put on events, teach them about communication and taking their business to another level. And my good friend Larry Benet was going to introduce me. And I knew he wasn't going to do a good job. So what I did is, is I put this intro video together two days to three days before I got up there. And picture this. Larry introduced me from stage, gave me his endorsement, did an okay job, and then we played the intro video like I just did, and I got up in front of the stage in front of about what? Doug, there's about 300 most successful people uh, in the country. I got up on stage, and I got what? A standing ovation from the most successful people in the industry. So I didn't have to build rapport. I didn't have to get the credibility. I didn't have to get them to like me. I automatically started here. Doesn't that sound like an easier strategy to get an intro video? And the other thing we have to think about, too, is in this world, we're a video world. People are see pictures. The video excites their imagination. So each and every one of us should have an intro video. Now, this intro video that we put together cost us about 5000 bucks, and we've made over $250,000 from just adding that one strategy. Pretty easy, huh? And so what I want to share with you today is some techniques. I might go off on some different tangents because I want to give you as much as I can with this short period of time that we have. I've got over 10 years experience in this seminar business. Now I want to share with you real quick how I kind of started real quick so you can understand where I came from and how much knowledge I have in the speaking business. It was about eight years ago. I had this dream. I had this vision. I wanted to take foreclosure listings from the courthouse and put them onto a website. And I did, and we called it foreclosuresdaily.com. And so we started a membership website. And we were making $100 a month continuity on this website that we had. So then we decided to put an event on. 
So I did my first seminar, and I did my first seminar at a Denny's. How many of you guys can relate to that? Well, I did my first seminar at a Denny's, and it was pretty funny. Uh, Dustin was my marketing guy. I hired Dustin on when he was 21 years old. He came to work for my company. And he made up some flyers and some tickets because he was a marketing guy. And we went out and handed out flyers to local real estate groups. We went to mortgage brokers' offices. We handed out these flyers. And we did our first event. And we got eight people there. And I was excited. Like, we got eight people here for our first seminar. And we did that seminar. And we made $1,000. Our first seminar, I'm like, man, this seminar business. Now, back then, that was a lot of money. So we made $1,000. Like, man, just think about what we can do to our business because we're making this extra money. So from there, I'm like, man, we want to do more seminars. So we did more seminars, and then we finally realized that doing them in restaurants wasn't the best place to do them. You know, we figured out hotels were more profitable. And then from there, we started doing over 100 seminars per month. Can you imagine that? You remember that, Jason? A hundred events a month. How many events did you get to do with us? 20 or 30. We did with Lou Brown, 200 events with Lou Brown. Did about 250 with Jeff Collar. So we are putting on all these events. So what I'm about to share with you, can you just imagine doing that many events, the learning curve and the process and the systems that we had to learn? Just by a show of hands, how many of you do two seminars per year? Put your hands up. Okay, two per year. How many of you do five per year? Okay. How about 20 per year? Okay. How about 50 per year? Imagine 50 per month. It's unbelievable. We had a big system. I had 135 employees. Sometimes we did 10 events per day. We had 10 different teams doing our events, filling the room, getting the closings, and all this. So I'm going to share with you what I've learned in the last decade. And I'm here to share with you what I learned in the last decade. Things have changed a lot. So I'm also going to share with you what's working right now and how you guys can easily double your profits. So I'm going to share with you three strategies that all of us in this room can do right now that will double our income. How many of you are interested in learning these three strategies? Okay, I'm going to share them with you. Now, just by a show of hands, how many of you have a coaching program? 10,000 or 25,000? Okay, almost half of you. Just by a show of hands, how many of you do not have a coaching program? Put your hands up. Okay, so everybody has a high-end package. That's where the profit is. That's where the money is made. After doing this for so many years, your front-end product is really a break-even process. You know, by the time Zach gets on the plane, flies all the way across the country, sells his product, okay, by the time he pays for the fulfillment, the credit card fees, the the promoter, all the expenses of fulfillment, gets into the event, he might have a slight profit margin. But he knows his big money's on the back end. That's where the money is made. Because he's got a $25,000 coaching program. So I'm going to share with you today in a moment what business that you're in. A lot of us think we're in the speaking business. We're not. Write this down. We're in the customer acquisition business. That's all the speaking business is. And I'm going to break down the funnel up here in a moment so I can share with you so you can learn what business you're in. I'm going to share with you three strategies that you can do right now to double your profits. One of the strategies that you can do is is throw a three-day boot camp. Now, most of us are doing a three-day boot camp, so I'm going to break down my mathematical blueprint of how to put a three-day boot event on, what's working right now to maximize that event. Write this number down, $2,000. That's what you should be making at your events, right, Joe? So we made it with you at uh, Ken Clothes event, $2,000 per head at your three-day. So if you're not hitting $2,000 a head, might have been even more. That's our, that's our target number. So if you're not hitting that, you're doing things wrong. And I'm going to share with you exactly what we do so you can duplicate it. I'm a strong believer in systems. By the way, does anybody know what the, what the acronym of system is? Save yourself time, energy, and money. That's what a system does. Now, does McDonald's have the best hamburgers in the world? They have the best What? system, right? And so I'm going to share with you our proven system. It took me over only 10 years to figure out, so that way you can duplicate it. So I'm going to share with you strategy number one, which is doing a three-day event. 
Now, most of you are saying, well, Dave, I don't have a big enough database. I can't get 500 people or 1,000 people to my three-day event. Well, I challenge you to think differently. Like what Jason Rodriguez is doing. He's only getting sometimes at other people's events 25 people at a three-day event, right? And getting 25 uh, people to an event, how much money have you made with 25 people in a room? Two hundred twenty-five thousand with twenty-five people in the room. Let's give him a round of applause. Now that's extreme, but let's get an average. If you get twenty-five people in the room with good qualified people, what are you looking at? Seventy-five to one hundred thousand. How many of you can use an extra seventy-five to one hundred thousand in your bank accounts? Yeah. So that strategy. You don't have to do big events, and I'm actually against big events, and I'll tell you why in a moment. I like to do smaller events where you get more intimate with the people, where you can build rapport. So I'm going to share with you how to put a three-day event on correctly and make big money. Now, for some of you are saying, well, Dave, I don't have a big enough database to do a three-day event. So let me share with you strategy number two. Strategy number two is, is to do an open house. So what you want to do is go to your database and say, hey, listen, by the way, we're having an open house here. You can come to our office for a day. You can see how we buy and sell real estate, do short sales. Uh, you can come to our office. Now, you can charge or you can let them for free. Now, what you're doing is you're going to do a one day at your office, a small mini event. And what are you going to sell them at this one day? Your $25,000 coaching, right? And let me share this with you. Without doing all the work of all the massive marketing, getting all the people that rang the room, spending all these costs, we actually make just as much money doing these open houses at our office than we do a big event. Now, how many of you could do an open house maybe once a month? Get 10, 20 people to your office. Very easy strategy, right? 10, 20 people at your office. You close three coaching programs at 25,000. How much money is that per month? 75,000, right? The key to the business is, is you want to get a million-dollar business. How many of you guys want a million-dollar business? I'm going to share with you what a million dollar business looks like from a blueprint up here in a moment so you can see what it is and see how easy it is when you build the right systems. So that's strategy number two is do an open house. Strategy number three is very easy, which I think Joe Metcalf and you, or Ken should use with you is, is you should go to your database and say, hey, by the way, we're thinking about putting a mastermind group or we're thinking about putting this new program on that Joe's going to be working with you personally. We're just going to put it together for a small group of people. If you're interested, uh, email here or call our office. Send that out to your database. Then what happens is you might get 50 people that email back. Yeah, they're interested. Well, guess what? Now Joe's got 50 nice hot leads to sell them into the new coaching program. Close three of those a month. That's an extra $75,000 in your bank account. So three easy strategies. You don't have to do these big events. Big events are great. You can do the open houses, or you can do what I just said, sending out to you and getting your salesperson to contact these people and close them. How much does it cost you to send an email out to your database and have your salesperson close people for you? Every one of us can do that. Pretty easy, right? And if you don't have a salesperson, then you can get on the phone. It's, it's $25,000 per call. Not a bad hours spent. So just three strategies that I wanted to share with you. The money is made on the back end. Now let me show you. Dustin talked about a little bit about the online funnels, how we're driving massive amount of leads online, how we're driving traffic online. Now I want to share with you kind of the funnel after you get the leads online, what you're going to do and how you're going to make a million dollar business out of this. So let me just do this. I'm going to do a sales funnel right up here. And Excuse me for my writing. This is the very first time that I've ever done something like this from stage. So that's my funnel. Thanks, Zach. So what I want to share with you is the funnel, you need to understand what business you're in. Now, the leads are going to come in through your funnel like this. So now the leads are going to come in through. How are your leads going to come in through the funnel, Zach? Marketing. Okay, what kind of marketing? Okay, good. Joe, how, how do you guys get your leads in? Internet. Okay, internet? Internet affiliate. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to drive leads in. Social media? Okay. Black's better. So we're going to drive leads in through social media, affiliates, emails, traffic, and that source is going to come in through our funnel. Does that make sense?
So that when they come into our funnel, we're going to offer them, what, a free book, right, or ebook to get them to opt in, right? So we need to gather their name. We need to get them to say yes to wave their hand. Now, the sales process, if you don't understand the sales process, is like the dating process, right? You have to take small dates, right? You have to continually build a relationship to get to 25K. Does everybody understand that? You're not going to just call somebody on the phone and try to sell them 25K. It's not going to work that way. So let me break down the sales funnel so you can see the relationship that you're building with your leads. So the leads are going to come in here. Now, as soon as they come in there, then you're going to say something like, oh, hey, by the way, would you like to jumpstart your business? Now that you got the free book, would you like an ebook, $47 ebook, to jumpstart your business now? So you're going to sell them your ebook right here. That's $47. Some guys are going to opt into that. As soon as they opt into that, you say, oh, by the way, I'm going to give you a free one hour training webinar. A free one hour training webinar. Now, how much training do you think you're going to do on that webinar? Not very much, right? That's your webinar. That's your sales pitch, right? That's your $1,000 pitch right there. So they're going to come now into your webinar, right? From the $47, that's your webinar. And then you're going to sell them basically your $1,000 product right there. Okay? Now, most of you guys right now are doing what? You're not driving leads online, so you're relying on what? You're relying on affiliates to do webinars, right? So you guys are coming and getting them in here into the funnels. That make sense? So most of you are bypassing this whole thing because says, I don't want to figure the online leads out. I just will do a webinar, find a JV, and do a webinar. Are you getting that? Make sense? Okay, good. So now, some of you are saying, well, I don't really like webinars. I'm going to do a stage. I'm going to go on Zach Childers' stage and sell my product. So you're going to sell your product for $1,500 from Zach Childers' stage. Now, I'm going to tell you this. If you're going to go to somebody else's stage and sell your product for $1,000, I suggest you don't do it. It's a waste of time. First of all, the promoter's not going to want it. By the time you leave your house, get to the airport, fly all the way across the country, sell your product for 1000 bucks, it's not worth it. So, sell it at $1,500. So your leads are going to come into there. Now what you're going to do is, you're going to get them to your three-day event, right? This is the three-day workshop, the boot camp, right? When you get them to the three-day event... What then you're going to do is you're going to sell the $25,000 coaching package, and I'm going to show you in a minute of how you can do that. So you can, now you're going to sell them your $25,000 coaching package. Now, for some of you that do not want to do an event, what you'll do is after they come in here, it's going to go to your call center. And your call center is going to convert them for you to 25K packages. Does that make sense? So what your goal is is to get them to here. You're in the 25K package. Coaching packages, that's the business that you're in. Now, this is the goal. Four coaching packages a month at 25K is how much per year? $1.2 million business. Does that make sense? If you're not playing this game here, go home. Do something else. That's the business you're in. If you're not going to make a million bucks in this business, go do something else. This is the funnel. So this is the business that you're in. So you have to understand your sales funnel. Now, Dustin sold you our funnel, the progression that a client goes. Now, for us, it's a little bit different. What our end goal is, is not the 25K coaching package. Our end goal is to do a product launch with somebody. Do a $3 million product launch and team up with them. So that's our funnel. So we get people through our funnel to get them to do a product launch with us. So this is the business that you're in to make 1.2. Now let me ask this question. Could you possibly get four sales per month driving your leads to a call center? Yeah, pretty easy, right? Could you do an open house once a month, get 20, 30 people to a, your open house and close four coaching sales per month? Could you do that? Yeah. Could you do what we did, a whole bunch of events, and sell the coaching at the events is another strategy too. 
So I want you to understand the different ways that you can actually make money in today's market. Because I know a lot of us are saying, well, people don't show up for seminars anymore. You know, you can't sell the high-end coaching. Well, great. So there's got those two other strategies that you can use. The other strategy you can use if you don't want to use in events is you can drive your lead to somebody else's event, like Kent Clothers, right? And that's what we did for Kent. Let me just back up real quick. I met Kent Clothers, what was it, three years ago? Yeah. Two and a half years ago. So I meet Kent Clothers from 1-800-SELL-NOW. And if you meet Kent, he's really, really, what's the word I'm looking for? In his ways. In his ways, very direct. And I'm talking to Kent, I'm like, let me look at your business model. He's like, well, what I do is I charge people a certain fee per month to use the 1-800 branding. And I'm like, okay, that's great. I'm like, how many people do you have? I'm like, that's great. I'm like, what are you doing after that? He goes, nothing. I said, you got all these folks coming into your funnel and you're charging them just to use this number and that's it? He's like, yeah. I'm like, well, let's do an event. I'll show you how to put an event down and I'll show you how to triple your profits and revenue. He's like, Dave, I don't want to be one of those gurus. I'm not doing events. I'm not going to be doing that. I'm like, you don't understand. Trust me. Your whole business model will change by doing an event. So we worked with Kent. We, put, we showed him how to put the event on. We did our first event, which was very, very successful. Then two months later, we did our second event. When started, That's when you started with uh, him, uh, Kent. Exploded. 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 And we got, what, 100 and something people there? 200,000 dollars with 90 people in the room. Right. So how many of you could like an extra 200,000 dollars in your business? That was how easy it was. We put the event on him, showed him exactly what to do, and he made 200 grand. Now, but he even did something even bigger than that. Because as we went into the event, this is something you have to be very, very concerned about. What is your ideal outcome? Most people just put stuff on, they don't even realize, they don't look at the end in mind. And so when I was talking to Kent and talking to him about his business and exploding his business, I said, well, let's take a look at your business and how we can explode it. Look at the different strategies we can put in place. Now, our strategy with Kent was, is we were going to make a lot of money on his coaching program, but he wanted to get and escalate himself to get on eight of the biggest stages and webinars. So we did the three-day event. We had, engineeredly, precisely, we had Van Merrill there, Jeff Adams there. Who else was there? Nathan, Nathan Jurowitz was there. Preston Eli was there. Uh, there was like about six or seven of the biggest guys in the country. We invited them to the event. Well, guess what do you think happened a month later after they went to Kent's event? What did Kent get to do to their list? Promote, Promote do a webinar, go to their event. And he made an extra $700,000 by doing that event. Does that make sense? So that's a strategy. Now, I want to share with you a strategy, really how to maximize coaching and also build your business. Because back in the day when I used to do events, we do a three-day event, and we would have, what about, Ted, how many speakers do we have? About 10 speakers would come, and it would be a pitch fest after pitch fest and pitch fest. And that strategy worked back in the day, didn't it? And the reason why, because what? Everybody had like $50,000 on a credit card, Right? These people would come to an event, remember that, Jason? And they'd buy your product, Jeff Collar's product, Lou Brown's product, Chris Kirsten's product. They bought everybody's product. They'd come out of there walking like this, all these products. And so that strategy worked because they bought more than one product. Now we, have, now we understand that the buyer has been different. They don't have $50,000 on a credit card anymore. They are buying now 1.2 products. So if you have eight different speakers and eight different offers and you know the person's only going to buy one to two products, what do you do to that person? Do you confuse them? Yeah, they get confused. They don't know, do I go short sale? Do I go probate? Do I do bankruptcy? And they confuse mine does what? Nothing. Or if they buy, what do they do after they hear the next speaker? Return. So knowing that, if you're doing your events, do not have pitch-a-thons. It's a waste. Not only that, I want you to understand, when somebody else comes to your event and they sell a product for $2,000, how much money did you really make? Thousand bucks, a little less than thousand bucks, right? $500. 
Now, that sale could cost you a $25,000 coaching sale. And they will. So I want to share with you how you can run your events and still sell your high-end coaching and still strategically bring in Zach and Ted and Kent into your events so that they can sell so you can build a relationship to go to their events. Does that make sense? So I want to share with you this strategy. Because what will happen is, is the buyer is going to come to your event. He's very excited about real estate. And he hears about your $25,000 coaching program. He's like, man, I really want to do the $25,000 coaching program. Or even bought the $25,000 coaching program. And then you get somebody, like an amazing speaker like Ted. Ted will come up here and razzle and dazzle them and say, everything you need is right here in this system. All you got to do is just push a button and turn the key and you're rich. Go back now and sign up. And the person's like, $25,000 coaching or 997, which one do they take? The path of least resistance. In their mind, they don't know the difference between a coaching program and a course. And be very careful if you're doing events, because we're writing up a lot of these offers. If people have in their offer coaching, email coaching, or mentorship in their offers, it will sabotage your coaching sales big time. Does that make sense? Right, Jason? So if you're going to have the outside speakers, let me show you how you do it. So the three-day events. Are you guys kind of curious on how to put a three-day event on? Yeah. No? If, I could teach you something else. It's up to you guys. So how do you put a three-day event on? How are we going to, we're actually going to put an event on for Mike and Sam. And we're going to do what? 250000 300000 at that event? At least. at least. Zach, we worked with you to write your coaching pitch. The last time out, how many people were there and how much money did you make? It was like 2900 ahead and we had 200 people in the So how much is that? $600,000. Now let me back up to this story. It's almost $600,000. So we've been working with Zach and, and we're great friends and I share some great strategies and he is the ultimate guy because he's an amazing closer and I just tell him what to do and he follows it. There, there's no like, oh, I'm not going to do this, maybe this. He just does it. So he comes, we help him, we structure his whole three-day boot camp, which I'm going to show you in a moment. We wrote his coaching pitch and, you know, he paid us a lot of money and I get a call, I'm at home and Zach calls me and I'm like, hey, baby, it's Zach. So I answer it, and it's late. I'm like, hey, Zach, what's going on? He's like, you know, I can't believe you, Dave. I'm like, okay, oh, gosh. He's I paid you all this money. I just did that coaching pitch. I followed what you said. I can't believe it. I just did $600,000. I was like, yeah, baby. <laughs> so I was jumping for joy. So this is what you could do to your business if you decide to take your business next level. Very easy. So I'll share with you how we're structuring these three-day events. So now your three-day event is going to look like this. I'm going to talk about day one. We'll go day one here. So on day one, when you do your event, now we kind of talked about it a little bit here. How much, how much time do I have? 30 minutes. Okay, good. So when you do your th three-day boot camp, what used to happen is everybody was afraid to give everything away. They're like, oh, if I give everything away, they're not going to buy the next product. So they would hold back. And now you develop this resistance between you and your clients and your prospects. We found out the more you give, the more you make. Because they're like, man, right? Remember we did that? We gave them everything. Kent showed them his whole business plan, everything. And we did that because they're like, man, if he gave me all this, imagine what his coaching program is like. It sets the tone, right? And they're so used to getting to an event and Speaker after speaker is being pitched and pitched and pitched. And they came to this event the first day, and you're giving everything away. So it changes the whole mindset of the customer. So the first day, this is what you want to do. Is you want to teach, you want to give everything away the first day. Then what you want to do is, is you got to have trained back of the room, back of the room sales coaches. Must be highly trained folks. Now, I know there's some folks in here that do that. I recommend them all. They're amazing. They're good at what they do. So you got to have that strategy. It's amazing. So many people pay so much money to become a speaker, and they got all these great speakers. Why would you have the guy that's up on stage that is so talented, and then the guys in the back that process the paperwork and get the money is not as good as a qualified person as a guy on stage? 
It doesn't make sense. The guy in the back of the room should be more qualified, a better salesman than the speaker because that's where the sale is. So knowing that you're going to have these amazing pe people in the back of the room, and I, you've done a great job at a lot of events, the key to having these guys come to the event is not position them as back of the room salespeople. We have to change that. These are professional coaches we brought in. They charge $1,000 a day. We brought these special people in for you so that we can start helping you and coaching you. So you bring these folks up on stage, you introduce them, you make them look like the celebrity, you make them look like the superstar, you make them look as, se as sexy and as credible as a speaker, and then guess what? All the people want to go to what? Those guys, right? So that's the job the first day. So in the morning of your event, you want to bring your salespeople up and you want to build credibility about them. Then what you're going to do is before the first lunch, you're then going to have these folks sign up for strategy sessions for your coaches. That's the goal. That's the very first sale of your three-day event is to bring the coaches up, build the credibility of them, the expert, and then sell strategy sessions with these folks, okay? People will run to the back and sign up for sessions with these people. Then what you're going to do Friday night is you're going to bring your success students up on a panel. Now, I want to share this with you. For some of you that don't know this, and a lot of you have been to my trainings, so you've heard this a million times, and I'll say it blue in the face. Why do people buy? People buy results. Write that down. They don't care about the product. They don't care about CDs and the features and the website. They are buying results. They're giving you $25,000 to get an ROI of doing 20 deals to make $100,000 or whatever. That's why they're exchanging the money. So knowing they're buying results. People buy results. That's why infomercials, if you watch an infomercial, the whole infomercial is what? Testimonials, right? And these testimonials are why people buy. So why wouldn't you not put your best students up on a panel the first day to talk about their deals and how much money they're made and how their life has changed and about how great you are in the coaching program is? It's better to have your students sell for you than you to sell. How many of you experienced that? Yeah, that's kind of what, how our business works. MVP, Seven Figure Speaking Empire, we don't sell. Our students sell for us, and that's how we, well, we've so booked up. You guys use the same philosophy. Have your coaching students come and get up, sit, up here and brag about how awesome you are. The other great reason why you bring those up the first day is, is most people wait to the third day to talk about their coaching, right? It's too late, right, Jason? You got to get it out quickly and strategically, right? So the best way to do that is have your students up here talking about how awesome your coaching program is, building excitement, how their life has changed. Does that make sense? So now what's going to happen after the panel is now the students or the prospects are going to then go to dinner with the coaches, right? And then these coaches are going to start doing one-on-one -on -one sales. Because what has happened today is people just don't run to the back of the room to buy a $25,000 coaching program. They just don't do it. Well, for Zach, they do. They need to sit down, build rapport. This is an investment for them. They need to make sure that their investment's safe and they want to make sure what the coaching program's in. This is a, de a decision. So these coaches are going to spend time with these clients, figuring out who is the people that are qualified for the coaching program. Now, Saturday is going to hit. This is the most important day. This is when you're going to pitch your coaching. It's going to be a soft close. Now, how many of you have a scripted 90-minute presentation right now for your regular product? How many of you guys have a, a presentation that literally you can do over and over again? You've done it so many times on webinars and you've done it. How many of you have your scripted presentation? Okay, great. How many of you guys have a scripted coaching presentation? That's more important because that's where the profit is. Your coaching pitch is where you make $25,000 per sale. You should know this. So on Saturday, you're going to have your scripted coaching pitch. And it's going to be done right before lunch. 
what you're going to do is you're going to pitch your coaching right before lunch. And you're going to do a takeaway close. You have to have a takeaway close. It's an application process only. And you've got to sell them hard that you're not going to take everybody. You've got to let them know. You've got to give a reason for that. And you have to justify it that you're only going to take 10. Okay? And then what will happen is at lunch, you're going to then send them back to then fill out the applications to figure out who is going to qualify for coaching. Then what's going to happen is, is Jason and people that, that's on your team for the backroom coaches are going to then go through these applications and then figure out what guys are going to be good for the coaching program, what guys can afford it, what guys are going to qualify it, they're going to start working on selling them. Now, what will happen is, is you want to get people into action. So a great way to get people into action to start signing the paperwork to put up their money is, is Saturday night, anybody that signs up for the coaching program or is committed to the coaching program gets to go to dinner at the steakhouse with the guru. Do you do that, Jason? So what Jason does is Saturday night, anybody pre-signs up for the coaching program gets to get dinner and they start the coaching now. Because we want to reward them for taking action. We've got to make them get into action. So now, Sunday is going to come. Now, Sunday is the most important day because now these folks have digested. Friday, they've heard about the social proof from your students saying, man, these students are successful. You build the trust and rapport. You talk to them about the coaching process of what's on on Saturday. You took an application. Your coaches are now working with the folks. Sunday is the most important day. Now, what you need to do is what they call a separation close. How many of you heard of the separation close? A couple of us have, okay? What is a separation close? How many of you guys have heard of Pareto's principle, the 80-20 rule? 80-20 rule, right? We know that 20% of our prospects buy 80% of our stuff, right? We know that 80% of the people in there are not going to buy your coaching. We're looking for the 20 percenters, Right? And so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a separation close for Sunday. Saturday before, the, the, before you end, we're going to completely sell them on the process of getting into action. You believe in taking action now. You want to start your coaching now. So what you're going to do, Sunday morning, you're going to have the million-dollar breakfast at 8 a.m. For those of you that are serious about real estate or serious about whatever, taking your life to the next level, we're going to start our first coaching session. We're not going to wait till Monday. We're going to start it Sunday for the million-dollar breakfast. Does that make sense? So now we need to separating the people out. The 80 percenters can go home, go out and do whatever, waste other people's time. Now you got the most qualified people Sunday morning at 8 a.m. in the room. Because that's what you have to understand. The way to make more money is to spend more time with what? Qualified people, right? Sales 101. So we want to do a separation close because we want the most qualified people with us one-on-one so we can find out who they are and we can start converting them. So now, 8 o'clock in the morning, you're in the million-dollar breakfast, right? You're in there. You're selling them. You're figuring out who's excited about the coaching. Then what you're going to do is, as the seminar door, you're going to shut the door And you're going to put a sign out there that says, Coaching in Session. Seminar will start at 9.15. What happens to those folks out there? They're away, right? How many of you have been to a rock concert or been to Miami where they make you sit out there and wait for two hours? And people just sit out there. They get this what? They want to be in there. They want that VIP. And so what you're doing is you're holding them out. Then when you open them up at 9.15 when they come in, then you're going to say stuff like, man, wasn't the coaching session awesome this morning? For those of you guys that are here this morning, it was great. Now you're going to start doing deals now. So you want to get those other people like they're missing out. Then what you're going to do Sunday, of course, the guru then is going to start coaching now. Anybody that signs up for the coaching program is going to lunch with the guru to start. Does that make sense? Now, did you see in that whole formula, I didn't bring any outside speakers in? Does that make sense? 
What happens if I would have brought Jason Rodriguez in on the second day? What do you think he could have done to a couple of our coaching sales? He could have sabotaged them, right? Would have killed the coaching sales. For $1,000 you would have made from him, you lost out on 25000 Does that make sense? So now, Sunday's coming. You're getting the people signed up for the coaching. You have figured out who they are. Now, after lunch on Sunday, this is where you bring in the outside folks, right? This is now where you bring up the guys to clean up all the 80 percenters that these other guys that will buy the $1,000, $2,000 products. Does that make sense? There's two types of people, ones that will buy the small products, ones that buy the big ones. We need to make sure we find out who they are. Now, what I believe you should do, because I've seen this, is what could happen is somebody sign up for your coaching program. They pay $25,000. Sunday, a speaker gets up here and tells them, oh, my God, probate's the best thing in the world. You need to get in this probate thing. And the guy's like, man, I just signed up for a wholesaling for $25,000. I should get in probate. What could that guy do? Refund. Coaches, how many times have you seen that happen? All the time. How many times have you seen that happen? A lot of times. How devastating is that when three or four or five $25,000 packages went away because somebody came in and overpromised them? So now, so strategy number, what Zach said, give him the product. So if the other guy comes in, you can give him the product. Put it into the coaching program. So if you know you can have two outside speakers and just add it in there, right? Right from the get-go. You just give him everything. Coaching, you're going to get, you're going to get his wholesaling course. You're going to get the, the foreclosure course. You're going to get everything. So that way you don't confuse mine. Now, what we do sometimes too is after you sell the $25,000 coaching, what could happen? Buyer's remorse, right? So now you need to do a coaching Okay, uh, resell the coaching. So orientation to the coaching program. So after them in, the guru, whoever, is going to do a 45, 30-minute orientation. Nice sure, yes. So what we did with the outside speaker, all the people who bought coaching, we took them out of the room and the outside speaker was doing their pitch. Uh -huh. We gave them a special session. They, were, they didn't hear the outside speaker. Then we gave them the product. That way, they weren't even attracted by it. Yeah. So if that's an idea. Yeah, it's a guaranteed sell for him. He, it was an easy job for him. Yeah, and he, the outside speaker loved it. The students didn't hear the pitch and get confused, our buyers. Yep. And then they were free to sell other people. Awesome. So, so that's a strategy because you do not want to have people returning your $25,000 coaching package after you put all that hard work and energy in. Does that make sense? So after they sign up for the coaching, you're going to do the coaching orientation. And all the coaching orientation is, is to resell them on the coaching to let them know what they're going to get, when it's going to start, give them that reassurance, so that way you do not lose on that $25,000 package. Now, we talked about, we're in the customer acquisition business, right? We're not in the speaking business. Does everybody kind of understand how the funnel works in your business? How many of you guys understand that? How many of you like me showing you that? How many of you guys got a lot out of that? Awesome. How many of you are getting this? Okay, good. So this is the business you're in. We know now that we need to get four coaching sales per month, and that's a $1.2 million business. Now, I talked to you about the three easy strategies. What was strategy number one we can do? Events at your office. Events at your office, right? The open house. How many of you can do an open house in the next 30 days and get 25 people there? You'll average about three to four coaching sold at that. Very easy. Could three to four coaching sales make a big difference in your budget to put in marketing? Extra 100 grand into marketing, wouldn't that be pretty nice? So that's strategy number one we talked about. Strategy number two, which Joe, you guys should definitely do, send an email out to your list. Hey, we're creating this new one-on-one -on -one experience where you get to work with Kent Clother. He's going to hold your hand to this coaching program. Don't put a price. If only for a select few. If you're interested in this, email me here. 50 leads, you're going to be in your box. Now you know what to do. One-on-one -on -one sales, you're going to convert them. You need to get four of those per month, and that's $1.2 million to the bottom line. 
Strategy number three, we talked about the three-day event. Now, I'm a strong believer you don't have to get two, 300, 400 people to these events. Jason Rodriguez, what is, your, what is the most efficient event for you? How many folks? 50 buying units, and that's when you do the best. Yep. I had the same thing. That's why we did so many events. that we In the beginning, we used to do these events with 500 people, 1,000 people. By the time we paid for the hotel, which would cost us so much money to do the big event, the marketing, the speakers, all the fees, look, like, we didn't make that much money. But then we did these events when we had 45, 50 people in the room, and we sold 50, 60,000, and the room only cost us four or $500 to put on and no marketing costs. I'm like, man, this is much more profitable of a business. So sometimes you'll go and you'll see other speakers that do events. They might have huge events. They may spend all this money on AV. They have this great huge event. A thousand people there, and you look, and I guarantee you look at their bottom line, it's probably not that good. It's not, is it? You're much more better. Not only the taxes it costs on, put on your business to put these big events on. You know, the, the stress of the marketing we got to get out, the cost, the room cost, we got to get all the people there, the stress that's involved. Why not just not do, do away with that? Just do an event every month, a small little event at your office or do a three-day at your little local hotel or do the, have your salesperson get on the phone and close them for you. So that is my easy strategy how each and every one of us can double our revenue in the next 30 days. Now, how many of you are going to do that strategy of doing an open house? Just put your hands up next 30 days. Just want to see it. Awesome, cool. How many of you guys are going to use this strategy where you send an email out to your list explaining this new coaching progress or this new mastermind to get leads to your salesperson? How many of you are going to do that strategy? That's an easy one. That one works very well. How many of you guys are going to put an event on in the next 30 days? Just put a show your hands up. Keep your hands up for a moment. So guys, right here between you guys, you guys should all be doing JVs together and, and working on getting each other's boot camps uh, and make sure that you guys are more efficient. The last thing I want to see anybody do is leave money on the table. 100% of the folks that come to see us in Tampa, 100% of the speakers, I don't care how long they've been in business, and I got a story about Zach, how he left the Lamborghini on the table. <laughs> oh, always leaving money on the table. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah. So we went to, uh, we went to see these guys that have coaching. And I never pitched them a giant coaching thing. So we used basically exactly that model with a couple of very minor tweaks. And um, we, we went from the big event to a small event, just like you said. We went from 175, where we sold okay. And we just did an event two weeks ago. We had... 100 people in the room. We sold $430,000 worth of coaching. Yeah. Woo. All right. Congratulations. That's a great event. And, that's, that's, and, I, and the first time I did the pitch that you guys put together for me, I was so busy, I looked at it three minutes before I gave it. Yep. So I'm like reading the slides to people as they did it. So we set up basically using exactly that framework. And Dave, everything Dave's saying is exactly right. The only change I would have that worked better for us is that we took our buyers, because the first time we had Dave Lindahl come in, oh, um, yeah. three unseated two coaching sales, cost me 50000 bucks. did his job great like Dave does, but he unseated two coaching sales, so yeah, I wasn't happy with that. So our solution to that, we took the coaching students, they got a special training session separately, yep. we yanked them out of the room, we brought in the other speaker, and we said to the speaker, look, we're pulling all these buyers out of the room, don't worry, they're all getting your thing for free, we'll pay you for every one of them. I'm like, great. I said, yeah. 25 sales, I'm like, sassy as can be. Yeah. So, so then, you know, it did not see any sales. So that's the only change that I would suggest that you might think about is take your take your students out to a different room who have bought already. Give them the product. Don't let them see the speaker's pitch. But other than that, I mean, yeah, it works. And you and you want to make sure that you're creating a system. So now Bob and Ed are creating a system so that way when they do these events, they know how it's going to go, how many people are going to there, they're going to know their ideal outcome, how much dollars per head, so they're creating a system. The last thing you want to do is every single month keep changing your business model. That's why these franchises are so successful. They figured out a model that has worked and they stick to it. What I share with you, we train so many speakers across the country, so I'm hearing all the input that I'm getting from all these different folks as they're testing all this stuff, and I'm taking all that information and putting it into a system that each and every one of us can duplicate. 
and so that we can get the results. I'm a strong believer. If you do what other successful people do, you will become successful. That's right. I'm a strong believer in systems. And so is my time up? I've got three more great strategies I could share with you, but my time's up, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> I could go on for six weeks, actually. So for any of you that want to talk to me about how to put the events on, what's working on webinars converting, last year, just to let you know, We've written over 100 presentations, 100 of these presentations. The beautiful thing is, is that when you're writing a presentation every other day, we're learning so much about the sales process, and then folks are testing these presentations, telling me, giving me the feedback of what's working and what's not. Because as the market changes, you have to change with the market. You can't do business the way you did last year. It doesn't work. If you continue to the business, if you continue the same business over and over again, expect different results, that's the definition of what? Insanity. Insanity. So you have to continue to come and learn new strategies. Yes, Mike. Or Sam. I just want to share something. Mike and I are pretty good at the game about a year ago. We were on the speaking game. And, uh, we went to Dave and Adrian and Justin uh, right off the bat with seriously no offer, no presentation, no nothing. And within a few months, we've sold close to 300 products. They put themselves with like six. Oh, thank you very, very much. Awesome. Thank you. Well, my time is up. Also, that is a great way if you're on stage, if your students can give you testimonials. That's so powerful. Thank you guys so much. And that's guys, it. Thank you so you're much. Have, did y'all enjoy that? Give him another round. Awesome.